Hello guys, I want to officially welcome you to another video. I want to say a big thank you to you for clicking on this video. I don't take it for granted at all. Every time you click, comment, watch the video, like and share, it tells me this video is reaching more people and I'm excited because the message of Christ is being shared abroad. All right, so thank you. I will bid with you that at the end of this video, you kindly drop a comment, like, also share this video all right thank you so much on today's video we'll be talking about seven reasons why you need jesus christ it's true that we live in a time and age where everybody is becoming independent people tell you you don't even need a man to scale a true life you don't need your family but that message is a lie you need man in fact you need jesus to scale a true life so on today's video i'll be giving you seven reasons why you need jesus in your life My name is Amichi and let's jump right into it. Seven reasons why you need Jesus in your life. First reason why you need Jesus is because of truth. Anything outside Jesus is a lie. Anything you believe that is not in Jesus is a lie. In fact, scripture says that he is the way, the truth and the life. You need him because you need to know the truth. The truth about yourself, the truth about your job, the truth about your purpose, the truth about what you are here for. We, we live in a time and age where there are lies everywhere, rumors everywhere, and you can't bank and hold on to that. You need someone who is the truth. Truth is in Christ. All the treasures of wisdom and knowledge are hidden in him. Colossians chapter 2 verse 3. To make sense of anything, you need Jesus. To make sense of your family, to make sense of your business, to make sense of your career, to make sense of your life, you need Jesus. Your pursuit for truth will always end in Christ. A friend of mine told me two years back that she is looking for the truth. She's in search of the truth. And I told her, I hope you find what you seek. The truth is, every pursuit for the truth will always lead you to Christ. Because you would not find the truth in worshipping idol. You will not find the truth in worshipping yourself. You will not find the truth in clubbing. You won't find truth in friends. You won't find truth in marriage. You won't find the truth in your job. You won't find the truth in everything you do. The pursuit for truth will always lead you to Christ Jesus. Second reason why we need Jesus is because of life. If you're watching this video, then I consider you to be alive. Except you're watching from somewhere else. It is amazing that a lot of us think that Jesus has nothing to do with the life that we are living today. That's not true. Jesus has everything to do with the life that we are living today. I want to make something clear to us. Life is different from living or existing. The fact you are existing doesn't mean you have life. The scripture says in him is life everlasting. And that is the life he has come to give to you. The life Jesus promises has no ending. It is everlasting. It is forever and it is lasting. So if you want that kind of life, then you need Jesus. A lot of us are afraid of what happens after now. We are afraid of when this life we live is now being demanded from us. We are afraid of death. And truth is, only Jesus can promise you life after here. If you want to continue enjoying life, then you need Jesus. Enjoyment is never found outside Jesus. Whatever you're doing now and you're thinking it's you living, it is not true. The Bible says in his right hands are pleasures forevermore. Jesus has the perfect definition of what pleasure is about. And it is in him you find the life you are looking for. In summary, there is no life outside Jesus. So the third reason why we need Jesus is because of death. You know, the science we have about death tells us we are all dying a little each day. There is no science that describes what happens after you die. But there is a revelation of God who sees the invisible and knows what happens in secret. With Jesus, there is no fear of death because he has conquered the power of death. In resurrection, Jesus defeated death. Death couldn't hold him down. And today he offers that same power to everyone who believes in him. The question is, do you believe in him? If you do, then you have power over death. Daily life and regeneration is promised to everyone who believes in Jesus. You are not degenerating. You are regenerating. Your life is being renewed like that of an eagle. Your strength is being renewed like that of an eagle. You have new life every single day because you have Jesus. Wow, 
That's amazing. By the fourth reason why we need Jesus is because of sin. The truth is, everyone sins, including the most self-righteous religionist and churchgoer. The question is, without Christ Jesus, what becomes of your sins? They must be accounted for. And without Christ, they are all accounted to you. The truth is, the judgment has already been made against you. And your sentencing day will come. And you finally die. So we need Christ Jesus to atone for our sin. We need Jesus as long as sin is present in our mortal body. I've seen a lot of people who try to overcome sin by strength. Let me say something to you. Sin is not an act. Sin is a law. And you can't stop the act of sin if you're still under the law of sin and death. What you need is to first overcome the law of sin and death before you can stop the act of sin. And the only way we can overcome the law of sin and death is by the law of spirit and life which is in Christ Jesus. If you want to break free from the law of sin, you need to receive Jesus into your heart. So the fifth reason why we need Jesus is because of peace. My friend, peace is elusive in this world where we toil to provide what we need. Every man is hustling, everyone is trying so hard to provide what they need to keep themselves fit to provide for their family. It is only normal that your heart will be troubled. But you see, we can have the peace of God and also have peace with God because of Jesus. Scripture says, when Jesus was leaving, he told his disciples, My peace I give you, not as the world give. The world only give you peace when things are good. But when things are bad, you become troubled. But Jesus is saying to you, I give you peace in good times and in bad times. Even when things are not going well, your heart is safe and secure in God. You need peace. Jesus to find peace. The sixth reason why we need Jesus is because of joy. It's amazing how many people think they don't need him because they are happy with the life they live right now. Just wait until something happens. Happiness is based on the external. Happiness is based on what is happening. When good things are happening, you're happy. But when there is a terrible situation, you don't find the happiness you had just a few moments ago. So we say we don't need joy. We don't need Jesus because we are happy already. It's, it's just like saying you don't need the sun because you have a light bulb in your home <laughs> it's so funny the sun comes with a lot of benefits that the light bulb doesn't have in fact the light bulb goes out as soon as power is done but the sun is there it rises and it sets it's stable it's constant that is how joy is all right joy is constant in your heart joy doesn't depend on what is happening joy doesn't depend on what is not happening joy is from your belly it rises from within and joy is a product of you having Jesus. The seventh and the final reason why we need Jesus is because of prayer. A prayerful man is one who acknowledges that he needs God's help. If you don't pray, then you are saying you don't need Jesus, you don't need his help. And the truth is, without Christ, your prayers are only heard but not answered. The scripture said you would ask anything in my name and my Father will do it for you. It is Jesus that guarantees the answer to our prayers. And we need to understand that Jesus promises salvation to any man who calls upon his name. You will not go to hell because you sin. You will not go to hell because you're a drunkard. You will not go to hell because you're a fornicator or an adulterer. You will only go to hell because you have failed to receive the free gift of God, which is his son, Jesus Christ. And today I offer you that gift. It is enough stress alone for you to go through life without Jesus. Why not receive him into your heart and take a journey to discovering what you have been sent here to do. Take a journey to finding peace. Take a journey to finding true joy. Take a journey to being free from sin. Take a journey to losing the fear of death. Take a journey to having dominion over sin. And take a journey to discovering what the truth about your life is. I offer you Jesus this moment. If you would receive him into your heart, pray this prayer with me. Say, Lord Jesus, I accept you into my heart as my Lord and Savior. I acknowledge that I have sinned against you and I come before you with a broken and a contrite heart. Forgive my sins. I am accepted into your house as your son. Thank you, Jesus, for your blood. Thank you, Jesus, for your death on the cross. Amen. If you have prayed that prayer with me, then I believe you are now a born-again Christian. You now have Jesus into your heart. Find a Bible-believing church and build your faith in Jesus. Thank you so much for spending this time with me. I love you and I can't wait to see you live your best life.